Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rare Eddie One, and welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Let's get into it. Let's get straight to it. I'm talking pop culture. I'm doing my review and a chat on Futurama. Futurama season 11, episodes 1 and 2. You're getting a twofer. So let's get into this. Let me put me down in one corner. So I will see you on the flip side. Here we are. We are at IMDb. So Futurama. Di on here in the UK, it's on Disney Plus, uh, Hulu, I think, in the America. Uh, yeah. Do I think it's a good idea to reboot this show? No, no. Hear me out. I'm a huge fan of Futurama. I love Futurama. Um, I, I'm a big fan of The Simpsons, Family Guy, and American Dad. Um. Other, other shows like that as well, South Parks. But Futurama and The Simpsons are pretty much, well, I know South Park went, and Family Guy was round about. They all, they all came out around similar times. Well, apart from The Simpsons, obviously, OG Simpsons fan. So I, I think they should have left it because season 10, the way it ended, it ended really, really really well for Futurama to be honest with you because it's been cancelled twice now that's not is that saying is that am I looking too much into it I think I think no I'm not I think this has been cancelled twice so they're obviously not too confident in it now I, I read up somewhere I maybe should have put it in on here but it's a bit late now uh, I did read up somewhere that they cancelled Futurama the first time they cancelled Futurama because it was taken away um, it was taking viewers away from The Simpsons now I bet they wish it hadn't of now because maybe if I cancelled it and maybe lost some momentum who knows where Futurama could be it could have been it could have been up there for Disney Plus and Hulu on their streaming services. But hey, oh, never mind. Uh, will they learn from their mistakes? No, D uh, Hollywood does not learn from its mistakes. I hope, I really hope to prove me wrong as a hu as a fan of Futurama. I hope to, f to, to prove all, all those doubting fans wrong and actually give us something good. But the first two episodes are mid at best, are mid at best, uh, and am I being a bit harsh, yes I am, I, I think I'm being a bit harsh, um, but like like I said, f uh, season 10, the way it ended for Futurama was fucking near enough perfect for, for Futurama, if it had ended this, a similar way for an, another a similar show, no, it, it would have been crap. But for Futurama, a cheeky wink saying we we could be back, but we probably shouldn't be back. But a little cheeky wink to um, to to say who knows what's what's to come, and and that's where where I am on it. Um, so why do I think they've brought this back? So oh, I've clicked on the wrong one. <laughs> so why why do I they, like I said they've not brought this back for the fans? That's that's my opinion. I my opinion is strong on this. I think they have not brought this back for the fans. They have brought this back for one thing and one thing only: content, content, content for their streaming services. Who Hulu and Disney Plus. You know they haven't brought this back for the fans. So I'm sorry, fans uh, of Futurama. They haven't brought this back for you. I know there's been petitions all over the place to get this back. They haven't brought it back for you. They brought it back because they want one thing, one thing only, content. They want safe content. They want content what's got a built-in fan base, which Futurama has. They want safe content that they know that's going to get them decent streaming numbers, which it will. Now, as a fan, we'll... Will they prove me wrong? I don't think they will. I think I'm just going to get shitty Futurama for for the next... It looks like we may have a couple of seasons. Now, I don't know. Um, but it, it does... It has a really big loyal band fa uh, fan... Uh, loyal fan base. Now, why not the Orville? Now, come on, Disney. I don't... I'm, 
I'm pretty sure you got the rights to the Orville, unless you... Well, no, I think it was on Hulu. Why are you holding out on the Orville? You've got... Yes, it's... There's probably more money in the Orville. There's probably more money to make the Orville than Futurama. Um, but, come on, the Orville has had three pretty good seasons. Pretty, pretty, to me fantastic seasons but i understand why they are pretty good to the to the normal viewer and why are you holding out on us give us a season four already come on but we know you know talking going back to futurama they they don't big hollywood studios don't have the balls to create risk they don't want to be riskful they don't want to create new unproven un they don't want to create anything new that's not that hasn't got no data on it um so you know reboots are probably going to be the best we have and yes reboots if done right can be done well and same with sequels and prequels if done right they can be done well sequels if done right you know they, they can be better than the original if not better than you know if not better than the original and same with uh, prequels you know if done right they can be better than the original so you you, you got you got godfather part two yeah you know, empire strike back you got your star trek 2 the wrath of Khan. come on come on now you got terminator 2 judgment day now that kicks it up yeah you know, that's kicks its ass and somewhat um i love terminator but terminator 2 just fucking just fantastic to me S spider-man 2 toby Maguire series is up there definitely definitely up there you got dark knight you got evil dead 2 i the list is endless the list is literally endless for me um uh, prequels you got house of a dragon which is killing it you got the God godfather part 2 now that is um yes it is a sequel but it does have prequel vibes you know seeing the don in his earlier uh, years x-men first class you got rise of the planet apes um and kong skull island uh just to name a few come on now so let's let's get into my review of episode one and two i start with two um so Futurama as a whole gets an 8.5. I'm at IMDb yet again. I I am uh, can't really say I'm for or against IMDb at the minute. Um, it's owned by Amazon, so hmm, maybe that's why it did well on uh, the Rings of Power. But it's popularity at a 14. A 14. Now again, I'm a huge fan of um, Futurama. Um, it just it's simpsons but uh for sci-fi nerds I, I guess i fucking love it so episode one season 11 episode one it gets a 7.5 on imdb now i wouldn't give it a 7.5 i would give it a 5.5 and, and again that's being generous uh it's a bit, could you say it's a bit meta for today's um, time? You know, with the writer's strike and the actor's strike with with what happens in the uh, episode. The studios are squeezing the writers. I, I don't know. What I do know is that what we are getting content-wise in TV shows and films are shit at the minute. We've, we've just had a spate of some really good, but, you know, yeah, you know, with you know, when Trump came in office, we had just everything just went political, and it was a fucking nightmare. And every writer wanted to get its fucking um, point over. And you have you have that woman for who, who writes comic books saying, "If you don't like my politics, don't buy my book." She shut up pretty quickly because people stopped buying her books. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, it, it is what it is. Just. Fucking take your shit, your 
politics out of it and just your your PC, your, all your woke views, take them out of it. Just just write from the source material. Use the source use the material what what's been given like if you comic books, you you know, read the comic books, your know, Lord of the Rings. There's so much stuff out there from Lord of the Rings. How the fuck can you fuck Lord of the Rings up or Rings of Power? You know, with the amount of source material out there, yes, you may not have the rights to all of it, but you fucked it up. And uh, wheel of time, you, the amount of source material, you, you just wanted to get your own, you just wanted to race swap everyone or gender swap everyone or fucking make everyone, you know, from the alphabet community, or, you know, where just concentrate on the fucking story stop putting your own personal bullshit into it and just you, that sorry that's my rant on writers at the minute um like i say just recently we we, we have been getting good stuff um we have been getting good stuff um is you know star trek picard season three at least um mission impossibles you you had the um spider-man reacher on Amazon, you had season uh, four of Stranger Things. It, it it started getting good again, and and now they they think, you know, let's let's write our bullshit into it. Um, so yeah, I I I I have to give this a five point five. I'm sorry, it was great seeing Calculon. It was great seeing the Robot Devil and the. Uh, the uh, studio eg executive robots. Yeah, it's great seeing Fry and Bender and Leela again, and uh, Doctor Zoidberg, and the professor. It's great seeing them all again. But I could have watched them all the uh, previous seasons on on repeat on uh, Disney Plus. Um, and I feel like they're just going to let us down with this. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Um. Does it get much better if the season episode two? No, no, it doesn't. Again, I would have to give this as a. I would have to give this a five point five. Uh, it's funny enough that it's gone. It's actually gone down. Um, children. So episode one, the impossible stream. Sorry, I, I keep skipping. Um, I don't want this fucking video being like twelve hours long. Um, so fry. <laughs> He wants a bit of a life goal um, after freezing and unfreezing for unfreezing time for so many years. He wants he wants a life goal. Um, he wants his life to matter, so he's determined to complete the whole TV. He's going to complete all everything on TV and streaming services. And uh, yeah, it, it just goes from that. Uh, that he's watching it at such a rate, he's he's binging it at such a rate, and uh, it's it's screwing up his tiny little um, mind. What uh, runs off a fry wave? <laughs> um, that that was kind of funny. It was kind of fun. It was kind of funny, but it wasn't laugh out loud. It 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 wasn't as funny as Futurama has been. It's more of a commentary of what's going on in today's um day and age uh in today's world and i just want to lose myself in something funny you know and, and that's not that's not what it did and they seem to rush at the, the story arc you know the story the the plot points they seem to rush it and and they rush it in in the children of lesser bog so it, it this Spoilers. Um, again, I, I give it a seven point uh, some. I give it a five point five, and it's got a seven point two on IMDb. Um, so it this has a bit. This seems to have rushed more to the main uh, story arc, the main plot point. It it started off quite mm, not strange for Futurama. Uh, that was another good thing, seeing the opening credits. That's good. I loved seeing that again. But this one, it opened up to just Fry looking out a window and uh, just, you know, sucking on <laughs> on a bit of clothing. Um, that's got some honey 
uh, honey treacle sugary delight um, stuck to it from the uh, 20th century and uh, they try and recreate that and uh, make it making it sweet and selling it again but that seems rushed because they do that because that leads to the next that's the leader to the next story that's the lead to the next story um, that Amy loses a couple of teeth so she brings up a calendar she brings up a calendar in her iPhone which is great brings up a calendar to to book a dentist appointment and you see some some hilarious uh, um, dates in there appointment to cut my hair extensions um, which was, was funny and a, a few other things on there and it, it, it shows you that their kids have been uh, on Ab Amphibious 9 I'm pretty sure it's Amphibious 9 um, where they have to go back and it's been 20 years so their kids are ready and even that felt rushed you know they get back there and you know if if you remember when this ep when the first episode where I can't quite remember what it's called um, but the episode where Kif gets pregnant and uh, Amy and Leela are, are, are trying to rescue the, the the little babies to get to the swamp but they don't repeat that on the way out I get that else if they had done that they'd have at least a hundred odd kids but now they've got three kids so they've got a, a good family unit which they can call back on in 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 later episodes which they probably will uh, for cuteness for easy easy, easy storytelling and, and the world do and uh, it just seemed it just seemed rushed and you know it it didn't seem future am of old um but yeah so, so i did so i'm getting at they they're just rushing at at the storytelling they're not willing to put the effort into a good storyline they just want a rush to get to to the main plot and then the rush the main plot to get to the uh the um conclusion and uh yeah it it just it just feels rushed so it, it's just rushed uh i don't want to get into too many spoilers but you know that's it, it's just a rush now I thought this was very interesting. So season eleven. Now have they seen? Have these? Has the audience of from this? Have they seen the the entire season, or they seen partial? You know. Um, but that's interesting. It gets ninety four percent audience score, and eighty five percent critics. Now if we go into here. Um, so it's got a 4.6 out of 5 average rating. Top critics, 100%. Eight of them found it with a 6.5 out of 10. That doesn't make sense, but uh, never mind. Um, wow. So that's that's quite, you know, that's interesting. It's got 100% and a 94% audience score. But we go into season 10. This was, this, that's got a 96. So... I I stand by my 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 uh my first statement. I I believe they should have just left this. Um I hope they prove me wrong. I hope they give us some good um some good story, um some good future armor. I hope they prove me wrong and uh I I would just love to watch future armor again and just laugh my ass off at some new episodes. I don't think that's going to happen, but they could prove me wrong. So, anyway, if you not like what I said, pick on Big Red. He want he's bigger than me. Um, but yeah, um, that's my my thoughts and maybe quick little review. I know this video ain't going to be little, but my quick review of episodes one and two. Um, let me know your thoughts. Is this something? You're glad Futurama's back? Or you a little bit like me, you think they should have maybe left it? Are you, do you disagree with me? Do you think you're happy it's back? Um, 
I would like to know your thoughts on it. If you um, if you agree with me, disagree with me, please let me know in the comments. You know, on my Facebook, Twitter, anyway, anywhere you can get hold of me, let me know. I, I will always always reply to any message on on the comment in the comment section. Emails, I always reply. Twitter, Facebook, I will always reply. So. Please feel free to get in contact with me. That would be awesome. So I've been Rare Eddie One. Let's get back to, to Big Rare Eddie One. And I'll see you on the flip side. So what are your thoughts on a future armor? Should they have brought it back for a third, and a third time? Do you think, you know, the way they had ended it in season 10, do you think that was a great way to end it? Um, do you do you expect much from future armor? Uh, in all honesty, um it was going it started out pretty pretty good you know season one and you know the first few seasons were were pretty pretty good i would i would put them on the level of the simpsons back then um then it just so sort i of got a little bit mid as harsh as that sounds because i love future armor I, I do but i have to be honest and they were kind of mid mid at best so I, I think they could have. I know why they're doing it. They, they need content for their their streaming services. They that's what they need. So you know, Futurama. It it saw the way it ended in season ten. To me, was the perfect ending. Yes, it it was left open. You know, with a cheeky leave open, but it was a pretty much perfect perfect ending for Futurama now if that ending was in in another show like that then yeah maybe not but this was quite quite a great ending um to Futurama and now it's back and the first two episodes have been like I said have been all right no it's no it's tickled me you know um as much as maybe at simpsons hype or you know a family guy or american dad um but it's it's not bad it's safe i guess for the streaming services it's safe we know futurama it can have a crossover with um, bob's burger and uh the simpsons obviously um and uh that that's it. it again i this is this is content they need content. Disney, Hulu needs content for their streaming services, and that's the only reason this is back. I, I, I yes, there's there's fans out there who love Futurama, who absolutely love Futurama. I'm one of them. I, I love Futurama. I'm glad it. I am. I am glad it's back. But am I glad it's back? Um, with do I want it to be back? Do I want Futurama? Be back? to be back with poor writing, poor visuals. I, I know you can't really get the visuals wrong with uh, animation, um, but poor writing and poor storytelling and rushed characters and rushed storylines just to get to the point, you know, that, all that sort of thing. Um, no, um, I think it should have just stopped where it was, but... You know, maybe we get a couple of good, decent episodes out of it. Maybe we get a, de- a couple of decent episodes. These first two episodes have been mid, mid, been okay. They've been okay. Maybe a couple little, <laughs> you know, little. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's yeah, yeah. I'd, and, and again, I'm a huge Futurama fan. Yeah, it was great seeing the Nimbus. It was great seeing uh, the Grand Midwife. It was great, great seeing uh, the the whale biologist. Um, it was great seeing them all unfrozen, and uh, you know Bender being being Bender again, and Calculon and the Robot Devil. It's great seeing all them characters again. But we had ten seasons I could have gone back and watched. Um, I just hope I don't ruin it. You know, because Futurama is a pretty damn good show. Um, like I say, you know, the inevitable 
it will be cancelled again, unfortunately. Um, when? I don't know. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this sombre video of mine. Uh, I, you know, I, it is what it is. It's, uh, you know, I'm, am I glad Future Armour's back? Yes. Am I cautious? Yes. Uh, am I, um, am I going to be, uh, regretful at the end of this season? Yes. Cause it's, it looks like it's got a two season. Um, will I, at the end of this season, be wishing it had not come back? <laughs> chances say, um, chances are possible. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to try and break down videos a little bit better. I'm I'm looking at doing a, a newer way, um, maybe with a little bit of script work and, and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm an incredibly not so busy man. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and do a little bit different, different way uh, of doing videos. Uh, I'm learning as I go along and learning what's better and all that. So yeah, uh, I hope you stay with me. I hope you, I hope to see you in my next video. I've been rarely one. Peace.